I don't think Berlin is a city where you've got to worry about making, making a network. It's very, very simple. My name is Caroline Drucker. I'm from Toronto, Canada, and I've been living in Berlin for about 10 years. I work at SoundCloud as partner marketing manager. So I work with, for example, um, Beyonce's record label when we did a remix competition for Beyonce. People tend to think about sound as just music, but it's not. You know, sound is everything that we say. Sound is everything that we hear. And if you think about the most you know, important moments in life, like baby's first words, telling someone you love them, those are all really signified by sounds. Sound is the thing that really brings sort of the passion and the energy to so much of what we do. I came to SoundCloud in a really funny way. I think it sort of exemplifies sort of the networks that exist within Berlin. I was at Soho House doing emails and I sent off my resume to Eric. And I then went downstairs to let someone in and Eric was actually there playing ping pong with my colleague from the company I was working at at the time. And then Eric looked at his phone and then looked at me and I was like, we're gonna talk soon. And then about half an hour later, I had my interview for SoundCloud. One of the things that makes the Berlin startup community really special is the strong um, support that everyone gives each other. And it's great, there's a lot of information exchange about what people are working on, and it's very easy to generate goodwill, um, you know, and to, to help a company out once you've had a beer or two with someone. Um, so it's, you know, it's that sense of just friendship. I'm on the road a lot. This month I'm gonna be in Serbia and Dubai. Um, my partner is a musician and he's on the road a lot. But we try very hard to take time for each other and also take time for ourselves. And for me, I've, I really enjoy downtime. I really enjoy just kind of hanging out in the apartment and, and, and making things. I sew a lot, I knit a lot. We have a little Japanese fridge guy. He tells you to close the fridge door. <laughs> I moved into this apartment about a year ago and we chose it um, over some other apartments that were really beautiful and a little bit smaller but this still felt like a raw Berlin apartment. It still felt very much like the Berlin that I knew when I first came in 2001. And what's also nice about this neighborhood is it's right uh, where the Berlin Wall used to be. So the Berlin Wall actually used to be directly behind our building. And it's a liminal space. It's not really Mitte, it's not really Reading, it's just this sort of netherworld. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of that sort of 90s, early 2000s Berlin feeling. Post-digital for me, personally, is the process of creating and making things with my hands. Again, knitting or sewing are things where I can just sort of completely relax, but I'm still active. You use your brain in a completely different way. You essentially stop thinking in the way that you're thinking with words. You just start thinking with your muscle memory, and you just start to react in a completely different way. And then suddenly, you've got this, this garment that you've created with, with you know, your own wits and hands. It's very playful and you can experiment a lot. You swear a lot too, <laughs> but you know, it, it's, it's very, very satisfying. Uh, YouTube is very helpful to watch videos because people essentially show how to sort of sew in sleeves correctly and there's a lot of things that you try. You think, oh, I'll just do it. It'll work out and then you realize you don't know how to do it. Um, but the great thing about the web is you can go and find a video, watch someone do it, and then you can do it too. <laughs>